happening peoples so another video today I haven't done one for a few days because we've been having loads of Wi-Fi issues and all my footage went back up to the cloud and I don't have storage devices so it's been a bit of a nightmare but we managed to sort it out so we're in Pocker now in Nepal and we're gonna go and do gonna go and hire a bike and then go and have a look at some of the temples and do some of the free stuff or the cheap stuff we're actually staying in an Airbnb now. This is it. Just nice and simple. Very small. It's more like a bed sit, really. Kitchen, bed, sink, frying pan, cooker, table and chair. It's got a sofa there, but it's just full of crap. Fridge, freezer. And it's costing us £55 a week. Yeah. Roughly £55 a week, so very cheap. Hopefully we can save a bit of money, so... Yeah, come come along for a day in Pokhara, I suppose. This is the garden, the Airbnb. It's a few different flats or apartments. Just outside the main area of Pokhara. It's got a lovely day now. We had the maddest storm ever last night. Thunder and lightning for about five hours straight. Kept us up all night. So it's about dinner time now and we're just heading out. Hopefully go and get a bike. Fingers crossed. So the place we're staying is called Pokhara Studio Inn. It's on Airbnb. Really smart, really clean and very cheap. That's the main thing. Just walking down to the main town centre now. It's about a 10, 12 minute walk. Yeah. Just one, one straight road all the way down. I think this is the clearest day we've had yet in Pokhara. It's been quite hazy and, and misty, but still very warm. But we had, as I was saying before, the big storm. Looks like it's blown everything out of the sky. So we might be in luck and get some good views today. There's Shiva's temple up there. Oh, yeah. That's where we're going. If you can see on the GoPro, it's to a big statue of Shiva. So yeah, looking forward to it. So another thing that's convenient about this Airbnb is the fact that it's right close to this gym, Ratna Shri Gym. I went this morning, decent kit, really, really good quality, the best gym I've been in in Nepal yet. So yeah, literally a two minute walk down the road, it's 500 rupees for a day ticket, which is quite dear. It's three pound, same as what it is in England in most gyms, or at least the ones I go to. So yeah, something else that's positive about it. And you've also, you also get these views. Hello. Hello. Nice friendly doggo. Hello. This is just on the main street, just in front of the lake or the lakeside. I think usually when you're in season, we I think we're just coming into the season now, start of September. Hopefully things should start getting busier, but it's very quiet about. Nobody really is about anywhere. There is a few tourists knocking about, but yeah, it's as you can see, very quiet. Right and peoples, made it to the statue of Shiva with some absolutely epic views. We've just had his first glimpse of a proper mountain, the proper Himalayan mountains, not sure which one, snow peaked, peeking through the clouds. I'll get some footage of it after hopefully. I don't know if the camera is picking it up over there, you can just see some snow through the through the clouds. But wow. What a place. So 
So here we are. Shiva statue. You can see it from the town centre in Pokhara. You can see it from pretty much anywhere as long as there's no clouds. This is definitely the clearest day yet. So the views are just, just mad. Crazy views. Reckon in Chanel. It's good. So unfortunately the clouds have just come over one of the peaks that we've seen on the way up here. I can see it, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But there's Fewer Lake down there, which is one of the main lakes in Pokhara. Then you've got Pokhara town centre or city centre down there. Such a green, beautiful place. So all the mountains here that surround Pokhara. And then over there, you've got the big, big boys. So just heading up to the Shiva statue. Shoes off before you go up. Ah, floor's hot. My bloody feet. Ow! Ooh! Right then, folks. I'm trying to get a bit better at stating facts on this channel because I'm just absolutely useless at anything like that. So, she, what's it called, Chanel? I'm going to lead you over to my lovely girlfriend who's the, the factual person of this channel. So, go ahead, Chanel. It's called the Pumdicott Shiva statue. It was only built in 2021. Um, it's 108 feet tall and it was to boost religious tourism in Nepal. Um, there you go. If that doesn't get me another 200 followers, <laughs> then there's something wrong. So, it's one last quick look at these amazing mountains before we go back down here. Back down the mountain or the hill on the scooter. Nice bit of Nepalese music just setting the scenes. So, ah, oh, there's another peak peeking through. I can see about six or seven peaks now. Just the very tops of them. Now that's what I call epic. Brilliant. Need some more peaks for you there. You're probably all getting bored though now, so we won't record anymore. But 100% worth coming to this Shiva statue. It's free. Probably some of the best views you'll get of them mountains. You might get a slightly better view at the uh, Annapurna cable car, but pff, come up here, it's free. Well, peoples, finally we're seeing more than just the peak. Wow. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All for free. Apart from your transport costs, of course. Unless you... You could walk it, but it's bloody steep and it's hot. Just amazing. Well, peoples, that's your lot for the Shiva statue and Himalayan mountain views of the Annapurna range. It's got better since, since, since we've been here. Yay, hey, 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 there's a nice guy there. But yeah, it's, it's got better. And we've been here about an hour and I don't want to leave to be honest, but shit the bed. There's mountains and then there's mountains. Nepal is the country of mountains. But the biggest and the best in the world no denying it and here's his gorgeous little scooter <laughs> peace
And here's the views of the peaks. And the city. Hocker Valley. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. Glad you did this now. Right people's going out for part two of the video. We're going to Sarankot uh, viewing point to watch sunset. Just pop back to the Airbnb. Some noodles and fried eggs. So yeah, off we go for sunset. You ready Chanel? Yeah. So there's the beast outside. The 125cc beast. So yeah, hopefully we get a good sunset. Look at that folks, review, proper views. Peoples have just stopped on the way to the viewing point at Sarankot and here we go here we go I'm not going to swear but we've got the views that we've been waiting for I think that one there the peak is called Machapuchiri I might have got that wrong over there to the left is Annapurna South uh, I think that one with the spike is just under 7,000 metres Annapurna South, I'm not too sure, I think it's just over 7,000 and then we've just got all these others, look at them ones over there as well Chanel wow. just yeah, I mean this GoPro won't even put it into perspective but bloody hell this is why I've come to Nepal for these views and it's free well it's not free to get here but it's free to look at this Epic. Five minutes worth of steps. Here we go. No words. No words. It's going for me. What an epic place to be at sunset. What's this called, Chanel? Sarankot Viewing Tower, free. No words. This is why you come to Nepal. Loads of places like this. This is the Annapurna Range. Spectacular. So that's the Shiva statue, which is like the other side of here. So we're actually closer to the mountains now than what we were before. That was free, well 20 rupees for parking. This is free. Again, the cameras never pick up the actual true scale of it. But I just hope this does at least show how amazing this place is. None of these ones are 8,000 metre peaks, I don't think. These are all around 7,000, just under 7,000. That one with the spike over there, we'll be hiking to in about a week's time. And I think you stay there to then summit, well, not summit, but to get to Annapurna Base Camp because Annapurna 1, which is the biggest mountain in this region, at 8,000, well, over 8,000 metres, is just behind there. So yeah, highly recommend, beautiful.